Hey guys, it's Duncan. Uh, thanks for coming back this week. Um, this week I'm going to be showing you guys how to import uh, image sequences into Photoshop and then export them. And while it's imported in between exporting, importing and exporting, you can edit it however you'd like. So this is actually really simple. Um, pretty much what you're going to do is uh, go File Open. Now you're going to have to make sure that your um, pictures like your sequence of pictures are in order, um, you know, like sequentially, and you're going to uh, select one of them um, and click image sequence. Now you have to make sure that you only select one of them because if you select more than one of them, then it doesn't give you that option. So just select one inside its own folder, hit image sequence, make sure it's on PNG and uh, well, I mean, whatever the picture is, minor PNG, because they have an alpha channel. So, image sequence open, and that's going to ask you for your frame rate. Now, you can choose from any of the standard. Uh, I believe I want to go with, uh, let's just go with 30, see how that looks. So, um, when you do that, this little uh, task bar comes up down here, and it's got um, play buttons, uh, you know, editing tools, and it's got all of your your uh, frames in there yeah so it's gonna you know it's gonna have to render those but that's fine so if we play this back uh, I made a uh, an explosion in Maya and I just wanted to make it into a, a video but it, it, it exports as uh, images so now to export this um, you're gonna go to file export render video and then it'll open up this uh, render video window I suppose. Um, now you're going to name it, so let's name it a uh, nuke. Um, select folder, nuke tutorials fine. Don't need to create a subfolder. Um, make sure it's on Adobe Media Encoder if you want to make a video. If you want to make a, um, I don't know what this does, but we're going to go with uh, Adobe Media Encoder. Um, go to QuickTime Format, uh, Animation High Quality, mm -hmm. that should stay the same. Um, make sure that your range is on all frames. Um, yeah, you, that won't really matter if uh, you know if you don't mess with it. It should be on that. Now, if you have an alpha channel like I do, which is uh, indicated by the well, that was weird. Um, it is indicated by the uh, little checkered there. You're gonna make sure that your uh, alpha channel is on straight, unmatted, unless you want it to be um, the background to be black, white, or color depending on, you know, if you want to add it in or subtract it in or key it in, then you could go with color and then choose, you know, green because that's green screen. But it's just safer to keep it uh, unmatted because then you don't have to worry about keying that out and uh, generation loss and such. So now we're going to hit render and it's going to do its thing. And after that is done, that's all you have to do. Um, so now if we go find that new tutorial, now we have a nuke MOV. We can open that up. Okay, apparently it has to convert. So now if we play that, that's uh, an explosion. And of course the white background was because um, in Maya, that, uh, that happened. But if it's on, as long as the nuke isn't like in the middle of the night, which this isn't set up to be, that wouldn't matter. It would just uh, blend right into whatever scene you had. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.